Hello everyone, my name is Sammy and welcome. And today, if you can tell by the title, I was finally able to make a little something. So today is probably going to be a, a short-ish video, of course, I guess my videos kind of are a little shorter. So anyway, yes, I was finally able to make something and I've been needing an apron for a little bit now just to help maybe keep some of my clothes a little cleaner from painting and sanding clay and stuff. So that is what I made today. So here we go. All right, so if you have seen my thrift haul, you may have seen this blue like tablecloth with this cute little ruffle. So I decided to just sort of wing it for the skirt portion of the apron and just cut along where I see where it would be a good idea. I then gathered up that little edge there and I sandwiched it in some uh, bias tape, I believe that's what this is called. And um, I just sandwiched it in there and then sewed that together to create the skirt. And ta-da, it's actually, I really like the skirt portion. The next is to create the top half. So I found a pattern online because I was having quite the dilemma doing this on my own so I did eventually find a pattern and then I will just lay it over top of the blue tablecloth trace it and then cut it out I then had to hem absolutely all of the edges <laughs> which is what I did to make it much more non-fraying and then I just attached it to the skirt like so. And then this is where it got a, a little tricky. So I don't know what it is with aprons. I, I think I definitely need to buy an apron pattern, but for the neckline of aprons, I can never get them to lay flat. Like I made an apron, I don't know, a couple years ago at this point and same thing I had to like maneuver it or or like butcher it basically in order for it to lay flat so that's kind of what I had to do here in order for it to lay flat but I had an idea I had a very nice idea so I did what I needed to in order for it to lay flat as you can see it is not pretty but I just took one of those ruffles and just attached it to the top and it worked perfectly it worked so well the apron looks so cute you can't even tell that it's super butchered underneath well I mean I guess you guys now know but anyone looking at it or if I put it on no one can tell that it's completely butchered on the underside of the ruffle so I am so happy with this cute little apron. It'll be perfect, and I like how I decided to make a cute apron, but you know, I'm gonna wear it to paint and sanding and stuff, so it'll it'll get messy, but it looks cute for now. So that is pretty much it, I think. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to, and I need to buy more patterns. <laughs> I feel like the biggest lesson you can learn from my videos is find patterns. It might be easier. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna get going. I am kind of hungry, so I'm probably gonna find something to eat and then go to work. So, all right, I will see you all later. Um, please make sure to take care of yourselves, drink water, eat some food, get a good amount of sleep, do something you enjoy, um, I don't know, take it easy, but okay, I'm gonna get going now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye!